Hi guys, welcome back to some more Robocraft fun with Shomofo. And, oh, what have we got? Apart from a lovely brew, what have we got? Well, check it out. Project Blue Thunder is back on form. Um, okay, this is probably going to be a heap of junk. Um, but... At least I was able to be a little bit more creative with it. I also made a mistake. I should have <laughs> probably started this guy back over here somewhere. Um, I've run out of flops anyway. So I couldn't couldn't get it quite how I wanted. Which means the front end um, doesn't quite balance out the back end. I really like the back end and how that's done. Uh, just, just with the shields on it and the jets and how it looks. Um, I've only had this in the practice ground and it does the thing again where it lifts up because the back end is heavy. But, you know, at least this guy looks a bit more fun. Uh, we've got flat five plasma cannons on it this time, so it should still pack a punch. It's nice and fast and if it didn't lift up, it... It would fly like a charm, but it does kind of, um, because it's back heavy, it kind of puts it into a climb all the time. And this actually started off as a design with, um, it was sort of a symmetrical thing with um, where the two wings come out on either side. They also had a rudder on the top and the bottom. And it was very nice and very weird, um, but I couldn't get it all to work properly. And then I just started tinkering around with it and playing with shapes. Now, it's very much a, uh, a very weak chassis, you know. It's all just a tiny little frame. So, I will expect the odd one-shot destruction of my craft. And I'll also expect to lose huge chunks of it, you know, at some point uh, just the odd shot might take out an entire section of the craft. But at least it's pretty looking and it's interesting looking as opposed to the last, <laughs> the last desperate attempt to uh, get something in under the uh, Blue Thunder Project banner. Oh, now this is one of my least favourite maps at the moment, for flyers anyway. But we should have a bit of the edge. We've got a few more, well, one more ten than they have. And they've got an eight to uh, pull along. Oh! That's weird. For some reason, it looks incredibly short now. It looked really massive and long before. Um, yep, see, it just wants to climb all the time because of the back, the heavy back end. Now, if I had some... Um oh, always miss these guys and these SMG. But he's also nice and fast. So. Ouch. Managed to get a hit on somebody there. Lost a lot of stuff. Lost even more stuff. Now I'm just protected in my shield dome. But it didn't last. <laughs> that was awesome. Or, or was that awful? I'm not sure. <laughs> it was one of them. I can't can't quite figure that out whether that was awesome or awful. I don't care. Yes, I I do. That um, message is starting to get irritating now. It already puts you into spectator mode. You know, you're in spectator mode as soon as you die. So that, that to me is just an extra click 
and those extra clicks, boy, they get annoying after a while, don't they? Okay. So, that was pretty painful. Oh, I would love, love to get this built out into a big battle cruiser. Oh, excuse me, bit of windy pops there. Uh, yes, it, I really should. I think I'll rebuild this guy and start him over here. And, um, and just get ready for, oh, when I'm, when I'm level 100, man, and I've got the CPU to play, I am going to be making some hella massive spaceships. Because just, why wouldn't you? That, that just, if you can imagine that's only part of it, it should have a big, sort of, what would look like the cockpit at the front. Um. With some more shields coming around over on this to protect all of this gubbins. I've just, I've got ambitions for greater things and I just haven't got the flops for it yet. But still, my uh, player level is slowly creeping up. And at least stuff like this where I get to make something that looks spanky and shiny uh, certainly cheers me up a bit. It's a lot nicer than um, just kind of building blocky things and, and then them failing as well and just getting frustrated. It's really nice to just at least, you know, if you're going to die, do it with a bit of style, take a bit of class onto the battlefield. really would like to get some kills with this guy um, I know I'm gonna have to take him apart because I'm not I'm just not going to be able to cope with that heavy back end and it lifting all the time it really does throw out uh, when you're trying to do tricky maneuvers and avoid fire um, but I think when I take this guy apart I'm going to lay out all of the bits I've got on it that amount of jets those wings those shield parts and start doing something with that because it's a nice turn of speed um, it's a nice amount of lift with the wings and you know and then in a tier or two you can get another weapon onto it get it start getting more armor onto it and hopefully I'll come up with a, a bit more of a balanced design you know, it, I may even on the rebuild sacrifice a weapon or two to get some more armor on. Uh, just if I can keep it alive longer, you know, that's going to pay off for me. Don't, don't do that. Okay, let's do this. And I'm rushing straight in. I really don't want to do that either. You know, that's a, that's a bad mistake. Come on, bring that nose down. He's dead. <laughs> awesome stuff. Who's this over here? Oh! Destroyed by Rias Q. Curio. Reset. I can't even pronounce that. What a shame. 
what a shame that would have been a victory if I hadn't just hung in the sky there. I thought I was safe to weigh up that shot. I should have kept on the move. Still, that was nice. Only 6,912 damage. So, it wasn't too bad at all. Quite enjoying this. Quite enjoying it. A chest. <laughs> oh, enjoy that. Well, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get into battle. Oh, there's a dev on. Oh, let's escape from the queue. Oh, no, this is just... Um, Oh, I wonder if I caught him. Don't know if he's still on there. No, I think he may well have gone. Oh well. Let's get back into the queue. Oh, not many tens on at the moment. They must all be in battle. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's see if... Uh... No, no sign of Lewis there. That is probably Lewis has either gone or run off into battle. Whew. 
what what does the electro code in the email do? Oh, 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 what? Of course, of course. This always happens. Soon as you start typing, we're into battle. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sure other people will have reported it. It's just I thought they'd fixed. I mean, it's funny. I'd never noticed, really. Uh, I think maybe once or twice it happened before, but not often enough that I really got onto it. But I did do seem to remember, um, I think they said that they'd fixed helium going invisible. And then, in one of the builds I was trying today, I had a set of disappearing helium. Um, and they were still in place and having effect, they were just not rendering out. Oh, lovely stuff. Do like those. Uh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's get away. What's happened here? I'm all kinds of freaking out. Oh, I've lost a rudder. Right, okay, not to worry. Got plenty of wings be having fun with. Just have to use a different kind of steering altogether. Oh, come on. A little bit trickier to manoeuvre now. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, no. We're going to have victory. One last chance to hit something. Oh, what a shame. What a shame I didn't get a few more hits in. Oh, terrible. Not too bad at all. My RP is actually growing a bit, as is my level. I, f I quite fancy this. If only I had enough CP to uh, weigh out the front end. I don't think six blocks of grey is going to do it. You know, I could could try just weighting it down until I've got the uh, flops to put something on, but I really don't think six blocks of grey on my front end will actually uh, do anything. Come on, there's a load of us in there. Oh, 
Well, I'm glad I'm not taking out the Red Baron or the Crow, because there is absolutely nothing in 8 and 9. So, more than likely, I'd be getting thrown in with these 10s. Although, I might try and take the Crow out in a bit and just see if I can get in with those 6s and 7s. Come on, there's enough for a five aside. Oh dear. Come on. There we go, we've even got some eights and nines now, and there's eleven of us, so surely you can. Surely can throw a match on. Oh, let's kick back. No time to chat, got to get into battle. Awesome stuff. I don't see anything just yet. Ouch, there's an enemy flyer. Don't really want to hang around for that. Lost my rudder again. But at least got a hit on him. Whee! Haha! <laughs> my little bits of armor left. And death. Oh, what a shame. Okay, well, I think that's enough uh, battling with this guy. He needs... I keep having to press shift to level him out, and it's really taking my mind off what I should be doing. Now, I really do enjoy this part of the design. Just, not not the frame or anything, just those four jets surrounded by these things. So, what I might do is bring a load of this stuff back down this end. Or I might just uh, redo it from scratch entirely. And just try and keep that as part of the design element. Um, not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. But I can't have that weight at the back. It's just bringing me down. Bringing me down. Something woeful. 
Hmm. Okay, here's an idea, just for now. Oops, what have I done? Oh, I've just deleted a wing. That's that's not too hard to fix. Okay. Now this is something I've noticed, it's a little bit odd. Every now and then I can place something on one side, but it won't let me place it in the same position on the other side. And it's just really weird. And I had it before, and what's weird was it was the other way around when I was placing jets on here before. I could place one further back on there than I could on this one. And um, it was just really odd. Hmm. Now then, is that enough? Is that enough to have brought the weight forwards? How many of these have I got? Oh, not enough flop to obviously I'd have to take some off. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. Let's have a go with that. Just let's see if that's managed to balance it out any. Oh, just dreaming of level, level 60. Oh, I really wish they hadn't messed up on the levels when they introduced the electro plates. I'm pretty sure I should have been level 60 by now. Oh dear. There we go. Okay, let's see if this has managed to uh, balance me out any. Oh, thank you. Upside down, hopefully I should still be able to take off if we can avoid this rock. Are you kidding me? Let's just roll away from that. And try and take off. We're going to find this rock. Oh. Wow. Thanks, dude. Oh. That is so annoying. <laughs> from from a rock to a hard place or what? Let's see if I can bounce away from that. Should have enough firepower. There we go. A little bit more to give us a bit more of a run up. Okay. Now, 
please. Please, I'm holding shift down. Can we get enough? No, another rock in the way. Ow, and something shooting at me. No time. Roll, roll, roll. No, and death. Oh, do you know what? Waiting so long to get in a T10 to have something like that happen to you is just positively cruel. Oh, that, that screen really is starting to annoy me. I was spectating. I pressed escape to leave. This is harsh. I'm sorry about that. Really wish I could have got out of that. I really wish I um, had been getting in there and killing stuff. Okay, one more and then I'm probably... Uh, well, I don't know. That was the whole point of going in there, wasn't it? To see if um, that had managed to balance anything out. I still really need to um, to sort it out into a bit more of a uh, of a death machine, but you know, I quite enjoy the shape of that. It's a bit wacky. It's a bit weird, and. Um, if I can get a few kills with it, then I'll settle for playing with that for a while until I get to level, uh, oh, I was going to say level 60 then, level 59. And that will give me what? Is it, I think it's somewhere between 11 and 16. I know it used to go up 11. I think it goes up a little bit more now I'm higher level. Okay, now try not to crash into anything. Okay, it's still climbing naturally. Is it? Yeah, over time it's climbing slightly, but it's not as noticeable as it was before. Still a factor. Ouch, ouch. Dive, dive. Let's try and get away from whatever the hell that is. Oh, didn't even see those guys down there. And now I'm shredded. Lovely bit of shielding left to just glide on away with. <laughs> I do enjoy that. One shield, protect me. Oh, my shield's dead. Just drifting now. About to die. Well placed shot will do it. There you go. Okay. Yes, yes, I want to exit the game. Oh. Oh dear, I'm just getting annoyed again now. So hard, so hard. This this cheered me up a little bit, but stuff like that. Getting stuck between those rocks and that constant asking me to confirm what I'm doing. Oh, it's harsh. Still, there's lots of lovely uh, RP there. Oh dear. And a lovely repair bill. Okay, guys. Well. Exciting times. I just can't wait to get to level 100. <laughs> so I can get all of this to pay off. I'm going to shifty this up to the back. And um, try and build it a little bit better. I'm going to scrap it. Um, but I think a similar design... Um, and if I can get the armor placement right and the jet placement right, you know, even even if this just flew better, um, I could probably live with, um, let's see, 
Let's take you guys out of there. But see, if I take these guys out of there, it kind of defeats the point of of all that stuff. You know, if I mean, if I have them up here, then what? What in merry hells is that for? It just kind of sits there and doesn't do anything. You know. It's, it's not protecting any of the stuff that it should be. Um, and it just makes this all the more vulnerable. So. Yeah, I think it's going to have to... I'll have to redo that from start. I may put that section up the front. Who knows? But I'm starting to enjoy the shapes and the builds. Um... Very excited about this now. Again, which is lovely, lovely feeling. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, these. F the f fit almost anywhere, don't they? Uh, let's pop these on here. These little ones. I can take those guys off. Oops. What a shame I can't have two on there. Have you guys on there. Now, can I fit you on the inside at all? Okay. Doesn't give me enough flops to do anything with. That's only 14, isn't it? That's only 14 flops. There are 11, so I could have one of them. How much are these? These are going to be 20, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, dear. What a shame. It just... Let's see if I can get in here. Just add a bit more. Around that area. I'm going to add. Can't add anything in here. Because of all of the, uh, the stuff down there. Can't add anything around here. Can't add anything in here. This is the trouble with these wings all being bunched so tight together. And these guns being placed so tight together that they are just on a very narrow thing. Realistically speaking, I should have some kind of shield covering all of this stuff. Um, but let's just see if that's... Uh, leveled it out or at least made me dip forwards I'd much rather be diving um, it's it's kind of natural to dive um, whereas it's very unnatural <clears throat> to just be constantly climbing
But you know, before this is the thing, before I spend any more time in the bay, I really just want to have a good session of sitting down and going battle to battle. Even if I'm just racking up a few uh, few thousand at a time, because every time I tinker in the bay, you know, there is the temptation to spend RP on something new. Um, as as you're trying to figure out the new builds, so oh, difficult, difficult. I really do want to get something. I'm just you know, even if I'm just happy playing with it because it's shiny and it's new, that'll do me. And then uh, I can power through, have a good session get to level 70 hopefully and that should be enough to start sorting out some decent builds with these things okay let's see how this guy does whoa he rockets off lovely stuff what this guy this guy still wants to just climb I managed to get a hit. And I want to get out of there. There's already stuff coming in the other way. Oh, lost a huge amount of stuff. Still got a hit on that fella though. Oh. Come on. Not enough power to, uh, to take off. Kind of stuck here. Oh well, the creak of my shields coming back online. Oh dear. There we go, this guy's going to take me out now. Yep, weapon gone. Destroyed. Oh, that's a lovely craft. Oh, what a shame, didn't get to see it. That's nice. Proper uh, aircraft looking fella. Wow, Ran Maru's craft is awesome. Oh, and we got the team victory. Well, that was all me. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. 58 CPU destroyed. Absolutely awful. Okay, yep. Um, I'm going to have to destroy this and start again, but I'm quite excited about this. Possibly uh, building the hollow frame, cramming the electroplating on, fitting the gubbins in on, on the inside, and then, you know, possibly as I level higher, uh, filling the frame out so it's a bit more solid. Um, or adding more electroplating in to cover stuff up. It kind of got away from me a bit there. Um, ended up with a lot of it being exposed um, simply because I ran out of CPU. So I'll try my hardest to build a sensible build and uh, have all of that stuff actually uh, being functional rather than just aesthetics. You know, uh, trying to hide stuff behind the shields. Um, okay, so. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you got your electro plates. If you don't, you really do want to get onto the website and um, unlock your free tier one electro plates with that code. And if it's still uh, available, get your free days worth of premium there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with a lovely new prototype uh, for Project Blue Thunder. Thanks a lot. See ya. Bye-bye.